Hi, welcome to week five. I get to teach you about forest biology this section. And in order to do that, I'll have some props here for you. And again, some questions for you as part of this PowerPoint. So the first part is, how does a tree grow? And that's really the definition of forest biology. And so let's look at the parts of the tree. First again, our definition, a single stem, roots anchored in the soil, woody plant, which means it has bark. And that's an example of a beautiful forest. And our definition again of associated trees, shrubs, and other plants and animals. And the art and science of managing forests. So you've seen this slide at least three times, so I'm hoping to just kind of like permanently imprint that on your brain. So the definition and the scientific name we've talked about. So in scientific classification, remember it's kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. The way to remember that from grade school was King Philip came over for good soup. I'm sure you have a lot of other versions of that, but we'll keep it there. So the parts of the tree are made up of the trunks, the roots, the leaves, and the branch. So let's start with the trunk, which is also a review of dendrochronology. Now I have this beautiful tree here for you. you got to love this. This tree is the kind that you would buy at a Hobby Lobby. And it's unique in that it actually has a real stem here. And then someone took a drill and put a hole in it and poked in plastic leaves. So, pretty awesome demo, right? My plastic tree here to demonstrate leaves, trunk, and roots. Another diagram here. The trunk, the leaves, the branch, the roots. So the crown includes the hardwood needles and softwoods. Hardwood leaves and needles in softwoods. So this is the crown. This is the bark. And we're going to talk about the parts of the trunk now. And then as well the roots. So going to the next slide. You will see the trunk which is actually this part of the tree and it's divided into these parts the pith which is check this out the pith which is the center of this tree cookie all right next the darker part is the heartwood the lighter part is the sap wood, and this is the cambion. It's totally opposite when I'm doing this. So let's look at that again. The pith is the area of dead cells around which the first woody growth forms. The heartwood, an inactive area, usually darker than the wood outside it. The sap wood is also called the xylem. Water and dissolved minerals pass through from the roots to the leaves. So it goes like this, up the tree, up the tree, okay? The water and nutrients go from the roots to the leaves. And the cambium, the microscopic layer of cells where growth takes place. The inner bark is inside between the cambium and the bark right here. Ta-da! and is also called the phloem. It's the layer of moist tissue that carries carbohydrates from the leaves to the branches, trunks, and roots. So the phloem is going from the top of the tree down to whatever part of the tree needs the carbohydrates, the glucose, or the sugar. Obviously the outer bark, which everyone knows, is um, protection of the tree from insects and disease and weather, and people, and then again, the review is the growth rings are the spring wood and the summer wood, 
which equal the age of the trees. So here it is again. The pith, the heartwood, the sapwood, the cambium, the xylem, and the outer bark, and the early wood and the late wood making up the annual rings. This is another review and a little bit more technical, showing it on the tree. All right. Last time, pith, heartwood, sapwood, also called xylem, cambium, inner bark, also called phloem, and outer bark protecting the tree. All right. The roots absorb and conduct the water and nutrients. They anchor the tree. Some plants, like aspen trees, reproduce by sprouting. Decaying roots increase organic content. And the root tips are actually the tiny, thin walled cells that actually do the absorbing. That's why it's so important on a tree planting to not let the roots dry out because it's the microscopic root hairs. And the last part of the roots is the mycorrhiza, the fungus that produces a sheath around the roots that allow it to absorb. So there's two types of roots. There's lateral roots and a tap root. A tap root is just like a carrot. So that's the trunk, the roots. Here you go, primary root, root hairs, and secondary root. The tap root and the fibrous rut, okay? Very important and basic. The leaves, I'm gonna save the leaves for the next part. I'm going to make that part two, so I will be right back.